Halloween may only be nine days away, but don't worry, I've got you covered with these nine DIY Halloween costumes you can make using items you likely already own. So our first costume is a pirate costume. You will need to have a white shirt, something like a dress shirt, especially if it's flowy works great, and some black or dark pants. You can even opt for jeans. I also have a pair of dark boots. So now it's time for our DIY part. We're going to start by making a hook using a coat hanger and a red solo cup. So you'll need to break the metal piece off of the top of a hanger. You may need to trim some more of the plastic off with a pair of scissors. Then you will need a red solo cup. I decided to paint mine that's like totally extra. Don't go out and buy spray paint just to paint the cup. Anyways, I let my cup dry and then I used my hot glue gun to glue the hook to the end of it. Next, we need to DIY an eye patch. So I'm using some black foam and a little bit of embroidery floss. I cut out an eye patch shape and then made a little hole in either corner. You could do this with a pair of scissors or just punch through with a pencil. And then I ran some thread through the holes and left it long enough to be able to tie around my head. I also am wearing large hoop earrings and I'm gonna put a bandana on. I just tied it around my head in a triangle, added my eye patch, put on my clothes, and now I am all ready to go. Arg, mateys! This costume will have you saying, yo ho ho, it's a pirate's life for me in no time. This next one is super fun and you will just need black clothing and masking tape. Definitely use masking tape, don't use any other kind of tape. If you use something like duct tape, it will leave goo all over your clothes and it's really hard to get off. Masking tape, however, will stick great for while you're wearing your costume, but will come off very easily when you're done with this costume. So what you need to do is just cut off pieces of tape to make things like your spine, your rib cage, on the legs I did a kneecap and I did the front and back. For the radius and the ulna in the forearm, I cut the tape in half so you can see both bones. You can do the same thing with the legs for the tibia and fibula. Don't forget to repeat the process on the back and I added things like the shoulder blades on the back. A great tip for this if you're having a hard time figuring out how to make your skeleton look is to look up a picture of a skeleton online or just pause the video and copy the way I did my tape patterns. But it's super simple and once you put it on it looks so awesome. You could also find a skeleton mask from the dollar store to complete the look. Our next costume is going to be to be a cactus. This one's super easy. So I've got a green shirt and pants. I've got some yarn and some safety pins. I cut off several pieces of yarn and then I tied them around the safety pins. Tie them around the side that doesn't open. So the pieces of yarn are like my little cactus spikes and then I just safety pin them onto my shirt. I like using a knit fabric because it doesn't leave big holes in it. I decided not to put any safety pins on my pants because it's a different material weave and the holes are more likely to be visible afterwards. You can also get a flower. Here I have a crochet one and pin that onto your costume or just hang onto it. This costume might be a little prickly, but it's still a lot of fun and super easy. Our next project is a dwarf and I had so much fun making this one. I started off by getting a needle and some thread and some cotton balls. I just put the, the thread on my needle and I ran it through a bunch of cotton balls and left the string long enough to tie around my face. Then I got an oversized shirt, this is one for my dad. I got some oversized pants, a belt, a pillow because I want it to be a chubby dwarf. And now we're going to do another little DIY here with a headband and pillowcase. Start by taking your pillowcase and inside outing it. We're going to turn this into a hat. Then take your headband and go over one corner and leave just enough out that's gonna be your hat size, like so. And then what we're going to do is we're gonna fold it back inside out. So we're gonna fold the long tail end over it. Okay, so right now our corner point of the hat is inward inside of the headband. Last of all, push everything through to the other side. So basically tuck the long end of the pillowcase into that point. And now you will have a little hat with a stretchy headband in the center that you can just stretch right over your head and it's just a pillowcase but it looks super awesome. So now let's put it all together. I put the beard on, I added the hat on top of that and fluffed it however I wanted it. Then I got the oversized shirt and I put that on, buttoned it up and then I took the pillow and I stuffed it inside the shirt because I wanted it to be a chubby dwarf. And then I got the belt and put the belt right underneath the pillow so that way the pillow doesn't fall out while I'm trick-or-treating. I kept a pair of leggings on and this would look super cute. You could even do a colorful pair of leggings or you could opt for a pair of pants like I did. It's fun if you leave them pulled down further so that way you kind of change your proportions and look shorter. This is super fun 
and kind of funny as well. Our next costume is to be a rain cloud. So I've got this old cowboy hat and some plastic bags. I put the plastic bags around the top of the cowboy hat and then I'm covering everything in cling wrap. This is so that way when it's all said and done, the hat will still work as just a normal hat. So I taped it on there and the cling wrap is covering all the surfaces and the plastic bags are giving it some shape. Next I got out a bunch of cotton balls and I fluffed them and then glued them on. Make sure you fluff them before you glue them on because it will stretch your cotton balls so much further. When you are hot gluing, make sure that you don't melt through the plastic bags and accidentally get glue on the hat. Once you have it glued together, you could actually paint this pink because it looks almost like a brain. But I decided I was making this into a rain cloud, so I added some paint and I really should have had something underneath. My work surface, don't tell my mom. But then I got out some crepe paper streamers, glued those on there, and now I was a fun little rain cloud. Now this next costume is a little bit more involved, but because I love to crochet and I love yarn, I couldn't not share this project. So we're going to make a paper mache ball of yarn costume. So first we need to mix up our paper mache. I'm doing a two to one ratio. So for every cup of flour, we're gonna have two cups of water. I did two cups of flour and four cups of water and that seemed to be enough. Then I grabbed my yarn. Now I'm doing two different colors because I didn't have enough of my colorful stuff and you wanna make sure you have plenty of yarn. I would suggest getting one skein of colorful red heart yarn and doing just that and that should be enough yarn to make your project. So then I have an exercise ball that I inflated and set on top of a five gallon bucket and I let my ball of yarn sit inside the bucket of paper mache and then I'm pulling it out and wrapping it around and around and around and around and around and around the exercise ball. A couple tips here is to pull big sections out and run the yarn through your fingers so that way it's not super sopping wet. This makes it a little less messy. And I just kept wrapping it around until I was all done and then I did my layer of the bright colored yarn. Once I got to the end, I tucked it underneath. And then any excess paper mache, I dumped that onto my ball so that way it can be really sturdy. Well, before you let it sit out to dry, you need to kind of squeeze it all together and this will make sure that all the yarn pieces that are overlapped are really pressed together and will hold really securely when this is all said and done. I let mine dry for about a two or three days and then it was time to deflate our exercise ball. Make sure that you leave the opening of the exercise ball at the opening of the yarn. So then I pr gently peeled it off of my yarn and I deflated it and pulled it out of my giant yarn ball. And the paper mache means that it will hold its shape and be this really cool 3D looking ball of yarn. And it's got a little bit of flex, but it's pretty cool. We will need to cut out a hole for your head and holes for your arm. So when you cut the hole to be able to fit through, it basically need to cut a hole wide enough to fit for your shoulders. So the side that's up is actually what's going to be down by my hips and I'm gonna have the round part up by my head. So I had to make it wider to fit over my shoulders and I just kind of need to play around with it. And obviously a bigger exercise ball will make for a bigger ball of yarn costume. So I finished cutting it wider and I just kind of had to keep trimming and trimming and trimming just until it was able to fit. And then as you will see here, it's going to finally fit over my head and shoulders. And then last of all, I will need to cut out some armholes. So I kind of guesstimated where the arms needed to be. You could also have someone help you with this and cut the armholes out while you're wearing it so you can get them lined up perfectly. But I just kind of guesstimated with mine. So I cut out the armhole, made sure that my arm could fit through them, did one on the opposite side about the same height. And then once it was cut out, my costume was ready to wear. Another fun thing to do with this costume is to get an extra piece of yarn and attach it to the end and have a either crochet or knit project coming off of it so it's like you're on one yourself to make your project. You can also hang on to the scrap and stick it on your head and wear it as like a little hat and then you can cocoon inside of your big ball of yarn. But this one's super fun, just kind of a funky, very unique Halloween costume for those of us that like to crochet or knit. This next costume is a very classic Halloween costume because it's so easy. Animals are super easy to put together. So I'm going to make a cat costume here. I've got a headband and some pipe cleaners and I'm gonna fold them in half and attach them to the top of my headband to make cat ears. Or you may have bought a pair of cat ears from say Walmart. Next, I'm going to make some whiskers. So I've got some fishing line here. This is actually green, but I would opt for clear fishing line. It'll look a little better. And I cut out six pieces that are going to be the length that I want my cat whiskers to be. Then I've got some embroidery floss here, just some thin string that's in a color similar to my skin tone. And I've also got a piece of a plastic cup. 
So I'm going to get enough string that'll fit around my head and I'm going to lay it across the plastic cup piece. Then I'm going to load it up with hot glue right on top of the plastic cup piece. And I'm going to take my pieces of cut fishing line and shove them really deeply into the glue so that way they're held very securely. Once this has dried, I will be able to peel the plastic cup back and carefully peel the hot glue with the string and fishing line off of the plastic cup. Once I do that, I'm going to take a pair of scissors and trim the excess hot glue. You of course could paint the hot glue or do makeup over it to match your skin tone, but now you have a fun pair of whiskers. So I did a little bit of makeup and added a nose and a mouth. I put my cat ears on, tied my whiskers around my face so I have whiskers on, and then I'm just in solid colored clothing. This is super easy to throw together. Like I said, animals are super easy, so this next costume idea is to be a cow. I have a whole entire video that I did on this with nine ways that you can be a cow for Chick-fil-A's Cow Day. So go ahead and click the card above if you want to jump over to make any of these ideas. Last of all, we have a wise old frog costume. So you will need a green shirt, some beige pants, and a beige cardigan. I tuck the green shirt into the pants and put the cardigan on. Now we need to add our ears. So I'm pulling my hair back and I've got a hand towel that's green and some pony holders. Put it over your head kind of like a hood, then grab the top corners and pony holder them off. And then fluff them to shape the ears the way you want them to be. Now I still have my cat makeup on, but I'm going to cover that up with some green face paint. Do that all over my face, that way I'm all green as well. And then I've got a different color, you could even use an eyeliner pencil, and I'm going to add some wrinkles for this character. And now you too can be a wise old frog, <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. I actually one time dressed up as this and went to the movie theaters when the latest Star Wars movie came out, and I'll include a picture of that. So once you're done with this costume, I just use baby wipes to remove the face paint, which was a pain. But hey, it's a pretty great costume, so it was worth it. But I hope you enjoyed these ideas. Make sure that you like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and come back for my next video. Happy crafting!